Welcome to the 14th tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at how to use inline styles. Now as I mentioned before in previous videos, there are three ways to insert CSS into your HTML. The first is using an internal style sheet right here, and we did that before. You remember we placed all of our CSS within the head element, the head HTML element within our HTML code. The second is to use an external style sheet, and that's what we're doing right now. We're referencing it right here. And the third, and what we're going to cover in this video, is inline style. Now, when you use inline style for your CSS, you are embedding the CSS directly into the HTML elements. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to embed it directly into our HTML elements. So let's do that now. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this paragraph element. So we're going to make a new paragraph. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in here, this is inline style. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this entire class because this isn't going to be a class. We're directly embedding our CSS into this HTML element, this paragraph HTML element. So now what you do is you type in style and then equals and then quote. And now you can use any rules you want and you'll recognize the CSS rule. So we're going to uh, select color and we're going to make this black. And of course, this will make our text black. And it's just like CSS, like I said. So we have to use a semicolon and then we can put another rule in here and let's make the font size. We're using the font size property. Uh, let's make that 25 pixels, which of course we're using in our CSS style sheet. And then we'll go ahead and use a semicolon to end the rule and we'll close it all off with a quote. And let's go ahead and save this. And let's open this up now. And there you can see we've got our new paragraph and our CSS has been applied and we're doing it right inside the HTML as I said. So that is the third and final way. Now I want to point something out in terms of using inline style. You generally want to avoid using this unless, and this is the key point, unless this is going to be rock solid this will never change you'll never change these rules it will always be the same now most websites eventually will change you'll eventually make tweaks to it and that is why an external style sheet is preferred because you can do it globally but if it's never going to change or you have a very small website you can use the inline style okay so that's going to do it for this video i will see you guys in the next video